In this video I will explain how to really screw up a distillation. I've recently been doing some experiments involving uh, turning 3D prints into tin cast objects using large amounts of dichloromethane in the process and not wanting to waste it I thought I would distill it and reuse it. So I got myself a little still and this is how it works. At this end I have a pan of water over a burner. This allows for horribly imprecise temperature control. At its lowest setting the water in the pan boils so the dichloro is certainly far too hot but that's as low as it will go so you have to turn it on when it needs it and off when it starts to boil. On top is the blue orb, a piece of laboratory glassware which has no hope of ever being clean again with the last of the dichloro bubbling away in the bottom. It's mostly used up now. Then this goes into the wrong labware because I haven't got the right labware with a little bit of modelling clay to block the nozzle there. I don't really know what that port is for. I think it's doing vacuum distillations but I don't do those. So the condenser one is in backwards because that's just the way it fits together when you're using the wrong labware. And at the bottom this uh, steady trickle of dichloro. Let's just make sure that it's still dichloro. Oh yeah, it chills the skin quite a bit so definitely good. Nice and pure-ish. It drips down into the collection pot. Surprisingly that is all going in the pot, even over that distance. A few drops have spilled onto the door and probably take the varnish off. My cold water supply, which is topping up on a fairly regular basis, runs as a siphon through the condenser and down into the sink. Well, I have already disposed of the first failed batch, which is uh, probably going to block the sink if it doesn't eat its way through the pipe entirely. So that is how not to do distillation in your kitchen and I fancy a cuppa.